Mike Zeisberger with Rob Longley. We're here at the Air Canada Centre where Rob, after all these days of training camp and stories, yada, 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 they're actually going to be playing World Cup of Hockey games this weekend, ones that count. And we've talked about a lot of these teams, Canada, Team North America, but the team that doesn't really seem to be getting a lot of love is Russia. Yeah, it's going to be crazy, Mike. First off, two games tomorrow, two games Sunday. It's going to be fast and furious. And the fun will finally start. But yeah, I was at a Team Russia practice today and I basically was, was going there to find out is like, why are people forgetting about this team? Are they under the radar? Are they not what they once were? Now, people will remember and say what they did in Sochi where they were a colossal failure and a flame out. They did fifth place. They didn't even make it into the deep into the medal round. So that's the freshest on, on, on people's minds about Russia in a best on best tournament. But look at the firepower yeah. they've got up front, man. They've got Malkin, they've got Ovechkin. They've got Kucherov. They shall I keep going? They've got yes. their four lines can all score a bunch of goals. They're a little dodgy on defense, and we've got to see how Bobrovsky is going to be in net. But I think this is a dangerous team, and as much as you can call a Russian team a sleeper team in an international hockey tournament, this Russian team's a bit of a sleeper. No, I agree. And Bobrovsky on on Thursday night uh, in Pittsburgh played outstanding against yeah. Canada. I mean, they peppered him with 40 plus shots. He was really, really good. As for Canada, they start on Saturday. They'll be playing the Czech Republic. And, uh, you know, we all think that, oh, it's a shoe-in for Canada and they're going to win. But, Rob, does everybody forget that in 2006 in Turin, they got shut out by Switzerland and didn't even play for a medal? I mean, yeah. shouldn't we be a little wary of this? Yeah, and here's the thing. Like, one loss can actually cause you major, major problems in this tournament three round robin games, the games are coming at you like this, It's uh, there's not much margin for error, so uh, you know, a couple bad periods actually, or a couple bad, bad spells of goaltending can put you in a bit of a hole, so yeah, Canada is clearly and legitimately the favorite, but they're not a lock to win this thing by any means. Well, we must be getting close to hockey because they just turned the lights on for <laughs> us at the Air Canada Centre, so you know folks, cut, watch and follow us on post media whether it be the papers whether it be the video we'll have all it covered of the world cup of hockey which starts this weekend at the air canada center i'm mike zeisberger for rob longley for post media